Big week ahead, guys, so here are the really important details. Please, Saturday, come join us. We are going to start the festivities at 11. Uh, we'll have a workout, actually two workouts to do, based on how many people are there. <clears throat> but at 11 o'clock, rough start time and a 12.30 start time. The whole day, okay, what I'll do is uh, will be a barbecue there. We'll kind of set up tables to have kind of like a potluck snacky thing. Anyone's welcome to cook up. Whatever they bring, I will supply about 100 hot dogs, vegan and gluten-free options available. And we'll want to hang out in the afternoon and just uh, be social and have a good time. Hopefully the weather is going to cooperate. Uh, we could bring the music outside. Um, also, due to popular demand, a uh, little community sale. So I will look to grab as many tables as I can. Again, you could bring things to sell, but I do know there's some people that work with um, or work in selling things that might have some good deals. Uh, Bruce, AKA Sage calls him the storage fairy. Seems to have everything under the sun in his storage locker. Uh, he says he's got a lot of stuff to sell. So all gear, uh, you name it, come bring it out. Anyone's welcome. Um, we, you know, bring your friends, your family, and uh, the goal is right to kind of stick around, really to stay as long as you guys are interested. But hopefully, we're going to be around till well after uh, those who finish their nine to five ish jobs come by and celebrate. It's uh, you know, feel free to bring whatever you'd like. I hope you enjoy it. Monday. So now for the week, Monday the gym is uh closed, but for one session at nine o'clock, we're going to do a the CrossFit football total. Super excited about this. It was a random thought. It's a class that takes longer than an hour, uh, but it's just basically lifting. Something that'll be good in the heat, if you will. Uh, lots of sharing. Could take as much time as we need to get through. So I hope you could come in. It starts at nine o'clock. If you're going to be a couple minutes late, that'll work. Nevertheless, right, it does flow in order. So try to be there promptly. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is going to be. Uh, Fun, maybe uh, we got some strength to start uh, a really quick EMOM we continue on the rope climbs we've seen some of you guys progress it's really awesome to see uh, a little bit more of our knees over toes exercises and finally we're gonna do a I'm not even gonna say it but uh, it's a workout it's kind of hard but very simplistic in nature so we're gonna use the prowlers I, I can't I can't lie so we got a prowler workout, a uh, nice little finisher. Uh, Wednesday, we've got our overhead cycle that we are continuing with. Uh, a good little gymnastics warm up and a uh, chipper style workout for time to finish. Uh, Thursday in our engine class, we're dividing into three pieces. Um, <clears throat> we got a biker challenge for 10 minutes, a row challenge for 10 minutes, and then a uh, Kind of like a little circuit going between the Echo and the Ski Erk. Friday is our back squat complex, uh, our back squat. So we're continuing on that, uh, continuing on that trend on that strength cycle. Uh, but prior to that, we'll do an Olympic lifting complex and a little finisher to end the day. And then again, Saturday, two fun workouts little different one is actually a benchmark workout that we've been meaning to program uh i feel it's one of the gateway benchmark workouts meaning uh there is pull-ups in there uh but there is a barbell it's just the barbell and uh a cardio piece to start some of you guys will know what that is but it's definitely a confidence builder for some people that you know have <clears throat> and rightfully so have a mission to be able to do workouts as prescribed. Here's one that is accessible and can check that box and fill that ego up. Um, yeah, and I probably should have mentioned this first, but it's been really hot. I'm smart like that, I could tell. But uh, to be fair, there's been some classes where it's been extremely uncomfortable. Uh, as a coach, I kind of put in a, like a, an odd situation because I don't want to push anyone that's kind of dealing with kind of overheating. It 
there's uh, I haven't been so much worried about your health in that sense, but it's an appropriate, uh, appro what's appropriate. So if you are coming in in the heat of day um, and it continues to be hot, you you've got to do your due diligence and being prepared with proper hydration and not just with water, but making sure you have uh, keeping your electrolytes up because you're sweating more than just liquid. So don't just replace the liquid. It's not a plug for element, although I do feel it's been a really big help, but anything really. Um, give yourself time to cool down, right? So it's not ideal to finish the workout and run out the door. Let your body try to cool. Maybe even bring a towel, wet it, put it over your head, go home, jump in a river, all those things. Um, heat exhaustion is a no joke. We don't deal with it a lot here, um, but kind of be smart if you want to play, right? Like the same would be if you went out for a bike ride in the middle of the heat. Don't show up without no water or... Anyways, that's it. I'm super pumped for this week. Uh, I hope you are too. I know it's a busy week. Crankworks is getting rolling. So even if you could do a little drive-by on Saturday, it would be great to see you all. Um, hope you are enjoying the sunshine. See you guys soon.